What a shot that is. Right, golf mates, welcome down to another video. I've been tasked with playing with and telling me the truth about Mizuno's cheapest balls to do. The balls in question are the RB566. Now, I've just seen them online. Online, 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 online! About 40 pound, three boxes. Now, I currently play with the RB Tour, which is really the big brother. So what I'm gonna do this test is really easy. A match against each other. But before you think this test, Liam, you're not a reviewer, I'm not. But like I said, I'm gonna tell the truth. So I've had loads of shots. I've hit loads of drives, loads of irons, loads of wedges, been in bunkers, pots, I've done it all. Oh, comment, Mizuno, I want your balls, because you've got a chance of winning a dozen balls. Right, let's just do a head-to-head. -head. I'm here at Charlton Four rolls against each other. Right, golf mates, just gonna show you something. The sister ball, the RB566, it's got 566 dimples but you're not really going to buy a golf ball for that. And would I use this golf ball? Not a chance. Big brother, the RB Tour, of course. Right, test is on. Par four, 335 yards. We're going to hit four iron. Same clubs, same everything. Let's see what happens. Who's going to win? Right, here we go. My ball of choice first. Four iron. Big brother, RB Tour. There's a little rain there. I can't believe it. Straight down the middle. Not the best strike, but straight down the middle. Now let's get the big sister. The 566 dimples. Miles better strike, up in the air, lovely. Both similar distance, happy days. Can't be honest, can't split them. I've not a clue there is a difference. Right, golf mates, look at this. Big brother, we're not the best strike, he's five yards behind, but how straight were they? Right, I've got 140 for my ball, the premium ball, and I've got 135 for the dimple ball, 566. Got nine iron. I have been playing great. Hopefully, I can get it there. It's a little bit cold today. And if we have a zoom in, that could be in the hole. Wow. Oh my God. What a golf shot that was with the premium ball, but I am a snob. I'll put that back. The dimple man, 566. Uh, I don't think I'm going to beat that shot. That was some golf shot, that. Well, a little draw on that I have as well, left hand side of the green. See, I pulled that. That's gone a tad massive. I don't know if I. What a pair of brilliant golf shots they were. Seriously. Oh, my handicap. I, I get bloody nine on this course, so. Two greens in reg. Mad, mad. Put these divots back. This is going to be a good test, this, because I can see what's coming. Right, look at this. Stopped on a sixpence. And let's be straight now. This is a premium ball. That ball would have stopped there, because, like, when it gets a bit softer, don't matter what you use, really. Now, this, this, I pulled this. So that's why it went a bit big. It's a tricky one, but it is a match. Right, here we go for birdie. It's a tricky long putt to start with, with the old uh, dimple pattern. Give it a shake, rattle and roll. Oh, oh you can't write this, can you? Eh? What a lazy man, not for the tea. You can't write that, can you? <laughs> right, let's put her down. Hey. Would it have done much? Probably another foot, I'd say. Right, for birdie. My tour ball. Oh. Wow. I'll take this down for you. Right, the greens have just been fed, so make sure I give them a nice clean. Wash your hands after. Right, this has got a little bit in it. This is a match play situation. I didn't see that. Right, that is a gimme. One up to the good ball. But really, in the test, could I feel any difference with them? No. Right, here we go, par five. 500 yards. My ball first. It's leading, but he don't really make it because it was an hard two put, that. Lovely shot. Just fading. Now it's bringing in with the wind. Round side of the fairway. God, that was a nice, easy shot, that. Gentle, I told you I'm playing ever so well. Right, here we go. See if you can hear a different noise with this one. 
It's a miles better strike. That's it out there. That's a cracking ball, that. Yeah, last minute when it died, just come in. Must be a little bit of wind right to left. Uh, felt no different, let's be straight. Felt no different. Joking apart, when it's wet or winter conditions, I don't think it matters what ball you use. What ball do you use? And you like, in the summer, you'll use like the high-end ones for spinning all that. And winter, the cheaper ones. Curious. Because up to now, after one all and all my practice shots, they don't bother me, to be honest, at the moment. I'll be honest. And I normally like the cheeky, cheeky, checky, checky on the premium ball, especially the RB Tour. But in these conditions and in winter, and probably US spec greens, I don't think it matters. Unless you're a snob like me. I am a ball snob. This one stopped dead. That one's got a little boat. That one's actually about 10 yards further. I've got a seven iron here now. I'm just going to pop one down. So this is actually a two piece ball. All right, it's a seven iron. Like I said, I'm just hitting ever so well. So let's just smooth seven iron down the middle. A little bit heavy, just flying right. It's all it needed anyway. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. All it needed. That was a bit too easy. That's probably got about eight or a nine iron in that. But still, nice. Right, here we go, seven iron. It's a little bit above my feet here, so it should pull it. So I think if I aim at that, them trees on the right, it should pull with a lie of the land. Oh, look at that. What a nice, simple shot that is. Right on the old geese. SS them geese. You know what I mean by that. Right, golf mates, here we've got the one pound 10p ball. Got one, three, two uphill. So I think it's a nice nine iron. Just come over the top, that's right to the green. Oh, what a wicked boat. That must have been the path and gone over. That was a, it was a right number. Right, these two stunning shots have left me with a hundred yard gap wedge. Still, even though with that other strike and the boat, I've not noticed anything different. I haven't. Right, hundred yards gap. Could be really good, that left of the pin. Birdie put the... I'm feeling nothing with them. Like I say, they check. I had a go with them and they're all checking the same. If anything, they just sounded a bit hard when I got the putter and went boing, 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 boing. Not really a scientific test, but that's the only difference I can see. Right, well, this be a little test of golf, mate. So I've hit the path, come right. Plenty of club like. But because it's a bit damp, I've just got a little pitching wedge. I'm just going to just push it on, really, and let it just trickle out. And get it to about five foot. I've done well. Done very well. Right, that was a good test, that. That didn't do anything different or worse, that. I'm quite happy with that. I've got a chance of a part. Right, my ball for a birdie. Sit. That's okay. Do you want me to put it in for the gimme police? I'll put it in. Right, this one. This would be a great up and down, this. Take my time. Two pipes, take that all day long. Still, would I use it? I'm a snob, I'll probably have the premium one, but look at that, that's feed that. So when you're on a course and they fed the greens, make sure you don't lick your fingers and wash your hands when you finish your golf. What a pair of fives they were, eh? Happy days, right, I brought you to this par three. 160 yards into the wind. I'm gonna go six iron, keep the easy swing. Premium ball first. Tell you what I'm thinking already. Got to go Slovakia next week, and I'm thinking of taking these balls. But don't forget in the giveaway, comment, Mizuno, I want your balls. Right, six iron. Oh my God, that is on the pin. What's happened? Wow. The divot, everything. I'm really sorry. Mr. Dimple, five, six, six. I'll take some beating there, even the cameraman, he nearly fell over in disbelief. Right, clean the club. Again, just easy six. Oh, I just tugged that with my arm, got my right hand over it. It's up there, it's just left of the green. Wow, two great shots. So get the divot mix out. Right, golf maze, look at that. Not bad, but that other, that's a cracker, that. Winded. Right, I've got my 54. Cheap ball, 
I'm just going to go for a pop it on the green, quarter way on, and let it release. I don't see it spinning loads, unlike the others. Do you know what? I expected that to run out more, be you know, like a bit cheap pull. Mmm, that were all right, that, that uh, weren't so bad. But look at this bad boy. The pitch mark repairer, is, I'm going to get that in a second. I will not be leaving that, trust me. I'll even show you it all finished. The birdie. Deserves it. Deserves it. Is it going to turn? Wow. I forget, I'll come back and do that golf, mates. Is that a gimme? What do you think? For the gimme, please. You know what you like. Right. This is a shame, this one, because it was a good shot. Ah, look. Again, didn't release. They fed the greens. Mm, maybe my test is rubbish. That's all the fertiliser. That's why I didn't release then. Okay. For the par. And keep it one down to the premium. Thanks for coming. Yay! We all love an underdog. We've had everything, haven't we? Birdie putts, nearly all in ones. Rain, cold, sun's out now. Finish on this par four with my ball, the tour, against the underdog, which is one down, but it's done all right. All right, come on. Oh, that's fading. Kept hold of it. Right. Now that'll need a low one under the trees, I think, or even a big left to right bendy. The door is open. The door is open. God, the feed. God, make sure you wash your hands. Right, the door is open. Let's drink tonight like we did last year. Not my best, but it's down the middle. It's a spinny one. I don't think it's gone far that. Might be a full iron in, but it's a green light. I tell you what, sometimes I do these messing around, you know, like comparisons with different balls, different clubs. At first I think, oh, they're going to be boring. But seriously, how well have I played? Forget the experiment, how well have I played? Can't beat, blow me on trumpet. Sorry, that's a nose. That's your trumpet. Right, here we go, the spinny one. I have got 165 to that pin, a little bit of wind. I'm going to go six iron. I think I need a nice one, actually. Probably playing 175. Come on, love. Do it, the sister. Just come out of that, it's going to go front trap. What a shame. Oh, it's bounced it, it's gone past. Oh, there's a chance. Did I say we're playing ever so well? Mmm, chicken and rice. Did I say we're playing ever so well? Mm, chicken and rice. Cock that up. That was my moment. The big moment. Nightmare. Right, here we go. I'm in the trees. I've got eight iron. It's 158 to get to that pin. I don't think it will, but if I can get it over that tree, I'm probably... Um, Front left of the green, happy days. Oh, how lucky is that? Oh, it's just dropped out there. Fight back's on, we're on. The underdog is on the way back. Right, 95 yards, playing 110. It's gap wedge full. Let's just stay down on them now. I've not been staying down on them. Just pulled that, but it's flying in with the wind. I think I've got a bit of green there. She's dancing. It weren't a great swing, that, after I've called myself great swing. Right, golf mate, she's here. The sister. Five, six, six, dimples. Got a gap wedge. Three quarters away. Kicks to the hole. Talking a good game now. Go on, get up and down. No kick. Oh, it's kicked forward. Wow. Didn't need that, did I? Right, golf mates, here we go. To scramble a four. Should come in now. Oh! What can I say, golf mates? To be honest, our handicaps, it's all about what you like. If you like it, you're going to play well with it. But here we go. Can I get it all square? It's got the legs, it's got the legs. Oh. Right, thanks for watching. Get in the giveaway. Make sure you subscribe to be in the giveaway. See you soon, golf mates.